What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 welcome newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pisces, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for sign of Pisces. This is resonate with Pisces in any aspects of your charts. The sun, moon, rising, Venus, or moon, behavior. Give your charts. So, if you have basics, time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. I did receive um, one channel message as I was meditating on your energy um, for the sign of Pisces for um, um, September of 2022. That was the extra one I got out. Um, I heard baby number one, baby number three, baby number four, baby number five on the way. That's what I heard. A lot of baby making out in the universe there, Pisces. Holy crap. Baby number one, baby number three, baby number four, baby number five on the way. So somebody, I feel either a Pisces is pregnant, a Pisces has impregnated somebody, or you know somebody that's pregnant with baby one, baby three, baby four, baby five. How that resonates and applies Pisces? I feel it can go three ways. Either you are the one pregnant, you have impregnated the person, or you know the person impregnant. Either with baby one, baby three, baby four, or baby five. Oh, that resonates, Pisces. I don't want no, no more kids. That's the damn truth. But um, somebody, somebody's pregnant, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. And it's baby one, baby three, baby four, baby five. How oh, that resonates and applies. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general effect free. A lot of babies up in here. Spirit messages you have a sign of Pisces. <clears throat> a Pisces is about to get a shocking phone call from an Aquarius, a, a Capricorn, and a Libra. It's not going to go the way you think it's going to go. And a Scorpio. Okay, a Pisces is about to get a shocking phone call. I heard Aquarius, Libra, Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, and there was another one, Capricorn. Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn. I heard it's not going to go the way you think it's going to go, Pisces. Now, one of these could resonate. One shocking phone call could resonate with you or two or two plus. Um, there's at least four signs in there, Capricorn, uh, Scorpio, Libra, and Aquarius. There's at least four signs, but, you know, one situation could resonate or two or two plus. Um, I heard Scorpio, uh, Capricorn, uh, Scorpio, Capricorn, Libra, and Aquarius. They could have any of those in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they may have your charts. I heard it's not going to go the way you think it's going to go. So whatever way you think the phone call is going to go with whoever this person, person or people are, masculine or feminine over here, I heard it's not going to go the way you think it's going to go, Pisces. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Spirit messages, you have a sign of Pisces. A grandmother is about to need a lot of help very soon. A grandmother is about to need a lot of help very soon. So you plug it in how it resonates, Pisces. This could be your grandmother or somebody you're connected to's grandmother. But somebody's grandmother is about to need a lot of help very soon. Uh, whether it's your grandmother or somebody you're connected to's grandmother. For some, it could be a spouse's grandmother, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but somebody's grandmother is about to need a lot of help soon, whether it's your grandmother or your, somebody you're connected to's grandmother. We have taking a vacation physically or mentally, finger warning you have a problem either now or in the future. You have phoenix and cosmic eggs, so universal change energy, um, and then the phoenix energy, so some of you are dealing with the, um, Aries Leo Sag. If you are, they have Aries Leo Sag in their sun, rising, Venus, or so many of your charts. You plug it in how it resonates. Pisces. Pyramid to DTR, sign by
An investigator is about to become a very significant part in a, in a in an Aquarius. I'm not an Aquarius. Sorry, uh, in a Pisces life. For some, you can be dealing heavily with an Aquarius. An investigator is about to be do a, a very integral part of a Pisces life. For some, this is going to go very positive for you. For some, this is going to go very negative for you. For some, this is going to go very positive for you. For some, it's going to go very negative for you. This investigator energy. So. To me, I feel like it's what side of the karmic wheel are you on? Are you, are you is your karmic bank filled up? Have you done put negative into the universe, or is it not? And you put positive into the universe. How that resonates and applies, Pisces. Um, are you, you? I mean, are you? I feel for some, you're supplying information to the investigator. For some, you could be getting the phone call from the investigator because you're part of karmic crimes, but only you know which situation and side you're on. How that resonates and applies. And I just want to point out, you've got a lot of Phoenix energy in here. A lot. Double confirmation there. Double confirmation. A lot of transmutation. A lot of rising from the ashes energy um, in your reading. How that resonates and applies. Okay. And that's creating universal change energy. Number 29 could be a very significant number of one's life. Number 29 could be a possible age of viewers by you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 29, Phoenix. A ball team win. A ball team win is what I just heard. Congratulations. A ball team win. Um, so that could have already happened or is about to happen. How that resonates and applies. Some kind of ball team win. I love ball. We all know that. I'm a ball mom or I was for a long time before my kids got taken from me. Um, ball team win energy. So um, congratulations. Uh, this could be you on a ball team or somebody you're connected to on a ball team. But um so, some kind of ball team win, whether it's already happened in the universe or it's about to. Um, Phoenix rising from the ashes, um, this ball team winning. Maybe they uh, had a losing streak or they're the underdogs or what have you, what have you. But um, they definitely, um, there's some kind of win here. So you plug it in, how it resonates, whether it's already happened or it's about to happen. A significant get together soon. Outdoor space. A significant get together soon. Outdoor space. So some kind of significant get together in an outdoor space. Um, some, I mean, maybe you're going to get out and enjoy the heat and the nice weather with the Phoenix energy. Maybe it makes you feel better. You know, anybody doesn't know you get outside and the sunshine gives you vitamin D, which helps your skin, your glow, and your uh, physical appearance and it helps you feel better um that's how i think of this card with that message the phoenix rising um outdoor space energy um uh, some kind of get together uh, whoever you're about to get together with and how that resonates okay cosmic egg Changes are coming in a Piscean's life. Huge changes. One, you're about to quit your job. One, you're about to relocate. Long distances. 
Okay, so huge changes coming in a Piscean's life. Whoever this is for, you work in a physical um, workspace, I'll tell you that. A 3D workspace. Like, you know, I'm a business owner. I don't work right now um, in the 3D workspace. But whoever you are, you do. And um, I heard um, you, you're about, to, one, you're about to quit your job. One, you're about to relo relocate far distances. Hopefully, they give you a relocation bonus. Just saying, just saying. Hope, or if they don't offer it, I would ask um, if that helps anybody. Just saying, just saying. Uh, most places will, um, it, especially if they need somebody, especially if you're highly qualified. I'm just saying, just saying. I heard it was long distances, so um, just saying, just saying. Um, now, it could be the same person that's about to quit and relocate long distances, or it could be two separate people, but that's definite universal change energy here, if that resonates. And that can be part of the phoenix rising from the ashes as well. You're about to rise from the ashes out of your, so for some, you might be in toxic communities, or you're not growing and manifesting in your community properly. Maybe you were targeted, bullied, or harassed, and you're deciding to make a change. However, that resonates and applies. Only you know your story, not anybody else, and that would make sense with the transmutation. Wanting to transmute yourself and a change of scenery and a change of relocation for yourself. Absolutely. A Pisces identity is about to be stolen, identity theft, and a Pisces is about to get negative communication from the state regarding identity theft. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So one of you guys' identity is about to be stolen, and for one, it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. Identity theft, for one. You're about to get your identity theft, um, stolen. For one, you um, you have stolen somebody's identity, and it sounds like the state knows this, or they're about, they're about to find it out, and you're about to get negative communication regarding it. Heavy legal issues coming here. Heavy. It was huge crimes. Heavy legal issues coming here. Heavy. Uh, it was huge crimes. So whoever you are that stole somebody's identity, um. It was huge crimes here. I'm feeling possible right, white collar crime energy, but you plug in and how it resonates. Warning you of a problem either now or in the future. This is the one of you guys that stole somebody's identity. But for one, you're about to get your identity stolen. Um, and that could be the universal change energy too. Uh, there's a state investigator or investigators either on this or they're about to be on this with the uh, identity theft. And I heard it was huge crimes up, like two or two plus. There's about to be huge legal issues regarding this um, huge identity theft. Whoever you are that stole somebody's identity, only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. But somebody needs to be careful, one of you guys, because your identity is about to be stolen. So please password protect everything. Um, there's many types of identity theft. Um, people can do it through hidden voyeur cameras when you're speaking to think you're speaking privately to people. And you're really not because people are hearing in on you through the camera or a listening device. There's cyber theft. There's um, greedy family members and people around you that can look in your purse and get your um, social security number or your driver's license number or what have you, what have you. Just please protect your personal identification if that resonates for you, okay? The one that stole somebody's identity, I heard there's heavy legal issues coming. Hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. A 30-year reunion is about to become significant. A 40-year reunion and a 20-year reunion. A 20, 30, and 40-year reunion is about to become very significant in somebody's life. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. School. School. I heard school. So some of you guys, it's 20, some it's 30, some it's 40 year reunion for your school. How that resonates. So I think in this aspect is taking a vacation mentally, uh, going to the uh, school reunion. Uh, we were supposed to have a reunion like two years ago or no, I'm sorry, a year ago um, for our 20 year at my school, uh, high school, but we never did it. 
So, um, and still haven't done it. Um, it's actually it's supposed to be a year and a half ago. Uh, I don't think it'll ever happen. I really don't. Um, people I graduated with, um, knowing those people, probably not, just saying. Um, but some of you guys, it's 20 year reunion, some is 30, some is 40 year reunion. So you plug it in how it resonates. So in this aspect, I think it's taking a vacation mentally. Um, you want to get away. In this aspect, I think it's to be positive for you. Um, I think you want to visit with the people of your past. Um, and you want to, maybe for some, you're doing really, really well and you want to show that you're doing really well. Um, or you just want to reconnect, how that resonates. And that's going to, um, that's going to create universal change, how that resonates and applies, okay? An Aquarius family member, one it's a son, one it's a brother. You're about to completely block them out of your life. Very toxic. Oh my God. Phil, you should have done this a long time ago. So some of you guys have toxic family members, um, Aquari heavy Aquarius energy, whether it's an Aquarius brother or an Aquarius son. Um, they could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or no moon, Haven, or Jupiter, Taurus. I heard you're about to completely block them out of your life. They're very toxic. You have recognized they're toxic or you're about to recognize they're toxic. Well, you've recognized they're toxic, uh, apparently, because I heard you felt you should have done a long time ago. So you've already recognized and identified a long time ago they were toxic, but you... I think you were probably holding on heart string wise, um, wanted to believe they would be better, wanted to believe they transmute, they change, and blase, blase, blase. But nobody changes unless they want to, and that's just the truth. Nobody changes unless they want to, and that's the truth. But however that resonates, you have recognized, I think you want to believe the best in them. But they haven't changed. They haven't made progress. They have not gotten better. So you're about to block them out of your life. However that resonates and applies. Aquarius. For some, it's your son. For some, it's your uh, brother. You plug it in how it resonates. Aquari uh, not Aquarius. I'm sorry. Pisces. So, in this aspect, you're taking a vacation period. Period from them. You're blocking them out. For some, you're about to plan a vacation. Don't know where yet. Well, that's beautiful. And for some, you're about to plan a vacation. You don't know where yet. So for some, you're about to plan a vacation. You don't know where yet. So you're about to plan a vacation, but you don't know where you're going to go yet. Um, you, That's going to create change, universal change energy. Uh, you don't know where you're going to go, though. Um, that's beautiful. Warning, you have a problem either now or in the future. A Pisces grandfather is about to learn of a daughter-in-law sex addict, um, not sex addicted, sorry, drug addicted daughter-in-law. Oh, Lord. So you're a Pisces grandfather. This resonates for you. You're a Pisces grandfather, and you're about to learn of a drug addicted daughter-in-law. So I think it's your daughter-in-law or somebody you're connected to's daughter-in-law. Um, so whoever this daughter-in-law is, whether it's your daughter-in-law or somebody you're connected to's daughter-in-law, she's drug addicted and you're about to find out she is. So heavy drug addictions. I didn't hear specifically what kind of drugs, uh, but she is very heavily drug addicted, whether she's your daughter-in-law or somebody you're connected to's daughter-in-law, Pisces. You are a Pisces grandfather, if that resonates for you. And I think it's causing problems in the marriage or in the relationships or in the family dynamic or something. And I, I, I could see it would, I mean, because drugs are very dangerous. They're very dangerous. They're very, very, very dangerous, very dangerous. They cause mental health issues. They cause money. Like people spend so much money on drugs. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how much they spend on drugs. And that's just the damn truth. 
they don't even realize they are because they gotta have it, gotta have it, gotta have it, gotta have it. Um, and it so it leaves them in the. I mean, they can make eighty eighty thousand a year or eight hundred thousand a year, but if they're spending a hundred thousand of it or forty thousand dollars of it a year on drugs, they're still poor because all their money's going to drugs. Versus somebody that makes twenty four thousand or thirty thousand dollars a year, and they save most of it. So it's not about economic status here; it's about where your money's going with drugs. And drug addicts, they they spend their money on drugs if they have money to spend on drugs. And so many people get very misappropriate; they they don't think straight. They automatically think drug users are poor people. They're in a low economic status. But that's not true. Most drug addicts are in the higher economic status. And they have very nice jobs. And they're very professional. They hide it. Trust me, I've worked around a lot of them. And that's just the damn truth. True story. <clears throat> a Pisces is about to get a child protective service report on them soon. And one, you're about to be called by Child Protective Services regarding a report on somebody else. So one of you guys, you're about to get a Child Protective Service report on you. And for one, you're about to get a call from Child Protective Services regarding a report on somebody else. So it's not you that's being reported on. It's somebody else being reported on. Um, some kind of problem. It's regarding child or children, whether you're about to be reported on or somebody else is. How that resonates and applies, it's going to... Um, Call it universal change energy here. And one, you're about to make a police report. And one, you're about to make a police report. I didn't hear what you're about to make your police report on. I don't know. One of you guys, you're about to make a police report. I, I don't know. Only you know what you're about to make your police report on. Uh, you can make file many police reports. I'm not sure. Only you, you know what you're about to make the police report on. Transmutation. The police report is going to go very fast. The police report is going to go very fast, I heard. The police report is going to go very fast. So transmutation. And a significant coffee can stuff full of money is about to be stolen soon. Know this. Oh my God, and a significant coffee can full of stolen money is about to be um, stolen soon. I'll pull that in somebody else's reading, um, whoever that was. Somebody's got a, a, a coffee can stuffed with money, stuffed with cash out there. Um, it was in some another science reading, but um, how that resonates, it's about to get stolen, whether you steal it or you know somebody that has this coffee can stuffed with cash or, or you're about to investigate it or... Or what have you, what have you. I don't know. How that resonates, somebody's got a coffee can stuff with cash and it's about to get stolen. Transmutation. A Pisces is about to completely change their perspective. There's about to be huge, shocking series of chain events about to occur soon in many areas of your life and other people's lives. It's about to completely change your perspective on many things soon and quickly. And one Pisces lawyer is going to ever regret getting in the middle of a child custody battle. The shit's about to hit the fan soon and quickly. And you're on the losing end of this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. So, shocking series of chain events about to happen soon and quickly. Um, not only in your life, Pisces, but many people's lives. So, universal change energy. All over the board. All across the board here. Um, all over the board. 
Um, but how that resonates, your your perspective is about to change on many people, many person, people, and situations because you're about to learn, you're about to see, I think, with your own eyeballs in the 3D, so many things about to occur with people or happen to people or, pe or things people say. I mean, events that are about to transpire, it hasn't happened yet in the universe, universal force change energy. Uh, I'm sorry, universal um, universal change energy. Um, that's about to um, create your perspective change. Um, for some, it could be something that's some kind of problem or problems, possibly. For some, it could be positive. But you're about to see this in the 3D world transpire. Some you, some other people. And it's about to make your perspective change. For one of you guys, you're a Pisces lawyer. I heard, and you're in the middle of a child custody battle right now, and I heard the shit's about to hit the fan with that, and I heard you're on the negative end of that. Um, so that hasn't happened yet, but it's about to. Whoever you are, Pisces lawyer, um, sounds like you're defending uh, somebody that shouldn't be defended. Uh, well, not shouldn't be defended, but you're defending somebody that apparently has done something to kid or kids in a negative aspect, and it sounds like it's about to come to the light. I didn't mean that you shouldn't defend them. Everybody has a right to be defended. Um, that's your personal rights and liberties. I apologize. But whoever you're defending, Pisces lawyer, it sounds like you're on the losing battle of this because some. it sounds like the shit's about to hit the fan. The shit's about to hit the fan in a huge way. The shit's about to hit the fan in a huge way. And that's about to cause change. Um. Yeah, that's confirmation. So some kind of information is about to come out or something's about to come to the light or something is about to change with this that's about to um, about to make a change. How that resonates, okay? And an Aquarius didn't believe in a Leo fan, but they're about to in a huge way. An Aquarius didn't believe in a Leo fan, but they're about to in a huge way. So some kind of Aquarius energy, masculine or female Aquarius, they didn't believe in a Leo fan. They didn't believe her, and they didn't believe in her. But they're about to believe her and believe in her. Because it's the truth. Okay, they didn't believe her and they didn't believe in her, but I heard they're about to believe her and believe in her because it's the truth. <clears throat> so whoever this Leo feminine is and how that resonates, it, it's an Aquarius, whoever the Aquarius is and how they apply in your life. Um, it could be masculine or feminine Aquarius, how that resonates. All right, I love you guys. Everybody have a good day and namaste.